case briefs and so much more ls data's got what you're looking for the issue underlying the lawsuit is carrier iq software that was pre-installed unbeknownst to the users collecting and transmitting personal data from users' mobile devices. The software, known as the CIQ interface, is said to have intercepted personal communications such as SMS text message content and searched URLs containing usernames and passwords amongst other data and transmitted it back to Carrier IQ and its customers. What makes it more alarming is that the software directly impersonates the sender, a violation considered to be an interception under Washington Revised Code 9, 73.030. The lawsuit's five causes of action notably include violation of the Federal Wiretap Act and violations of various state privacy and consumer protection laws in a number of states, including the Magnuson Moss Warranty Act in 34 states and the District of Columbia, and the implied warranty of merchantability. Although the plaintiff's claim under the Federal Wiretap Act was initially unsuccessful, the lower court did establish a two-part test to determine if a product defect makes it unfit for its ordinary purpose. Subsequently, an array of allegations were dismissed or granted permission for amendments. However, the manufacturers were accused of designing, programming, and installing the intrusive software with the aid of Carrier IQ without giving users a choice to opt in or out of its functionality, which clearly impended users' rights. Despite some setbacks, the plaintiffs did secure some successes. The court found the defendants had indeed breached the California unfair competition law due to the surreptitious existence and operations of the Carrier IQ software. Accordingly, the defendant's motion to dismiss the plaintiff's MCPA and Michigan Consumer Protection Act claims was denied. All in all, the lawsuit is allowed to proceed as the defendant's overall motion to dismiss was denied, except for claims where pre-suit notice was not provided to the defendants and certain state law claims where no named plaintiff resides. As the plaintiffs are enabled to file a third amended complaint, the battle over privacy in mobile tech continues. Despite the lower court's earlier mistakes in partially granting the motion to dismiss, the lawsuit adds another layer to the ongoing debate over digital privacy, pushing back against covert data collection and upholding the importance of consumer consent. Furthermore, a precedent is being set for what constitutes a product's fitness for their ordinary purpose, surely a finding of significance to consumer rights advocates. Will this case tip the balance in favor of stronger privacy protections? The awaited decision could have far-reaching implications. Case briefs and so much more. LS Data's got what you're looking for. Visit LSE.law. Elevate your mind. Leave the stress of class.